everybody, welcome back to my 100% playthrough of Doom Zero on Ultra Violence. Today I'm playing Map 19, Quantum Processing, 156 kills and 9 secrets. And we start off with our little arch vial in front of us here, so we're gonna shoot him with the BFG. And then before we continue on, we're gonna turn around and we're actually gonna hop back up for the first secret of the level. And then get ready for some enemies to kill just around the corner here. Just some imps and hit scanners here. Alright, next up what we're gonna do is we're going to head straight forward. We're gonna walk out into there and turn around because a lot of enemies are gonna wake up and a Mancubus is gonna spawn in behind us. We wanna take him out and then run back over here for a little bit of cover. And then we're just going to take out the enemies as they teleport over here. Wow, this Kakudim doesn't want to die. And hopefully some infighting will happen over there too. up some rockets. like that. Mancubus is still alive. There he is. There we go. And we can just grab some ammo around here and you might notice in there some little arch file legs. We'll be dealing with him in a little bit. But first we want to deal with two revenants right here. teleported. Alright, then we have quite a few specters down below. We're just going to shoot some of them in advance. And then we'll just hop down, take care of whatever's remaining. Alright, if we head over here, there's going to be some more specters on the left. What I like to do is just lure them in here so we don't wake up the enemies in the next room. Which are quite a lot of revenants. So I like to take them out with a BFG. And it's a lot easier to take out most of them. If they're not running around. All right, let's pull out that BFG and get ready to take out a lot of revenants. All right, that should be good. Not the best BFG shots, but... Alright, now with them all dead, we want to head over into that corner right there. And then that will eventually lower as you're firing at these guys. And if you walk over the lighted spot on the floor there, you'll see some platforms rise up and we can head over here for a secret and then we'll make our way over here
We'll hit this switch right here, which is going to lower the platform where that arch file is. But it's also going to open this door and open this secret right here. And let's head up there and take out that arch file. And then we can use this area here to make a run over here. And before we continue, if you turn to your right where this lone armor piece is, you can grab it and jump down to open this secret. And then we'll head back over here and get ready to take out two pain elementals just around the corner here. Alright, if you lower this lift, you'll notice over there that lift also lowers. But instead of running out there, turn around and this wall will open up for another secret. And then let's head up here. You might notice really quickly if you're looking at the right, that arrow on the ground. And you might be wondering, is that the one I hit? Actually, what you want to do is hit this one right here that's hidden. And then the arrows will start to point you where you need to go. Watch out for two chain gunners straight ahead of you. And then there's going to be a Hell Knight, some Baron, a Baron, some Imps, and other baddies in here. Alright, you can hit this to lower it down if you want to head back to the starting area without having to go through all that there. Alright, let's take out some lost souls up on the right there. Watch out for the imp on the left. And there's going to be some chain gunners just around the corner here. Right, there's going to be a couple of Kaku Demons and Lost Souls on the left here, so we're just going to throw some rockets at them. Clear out this area over here. As well as clear out the area just around up here where there's a Pain Elemental at the top. Let's head over here and open this door. There's going to be some Lost Souls and Arachnotrons, and one of those Arachnotrons is actually going to teleport in behind you, so watch out. We can use this spot right here. And watch out for those lost souls teleporting in behind you. Alright, now we can head out here and just grab some goodies. And we have a door over there, but before we head over there, there's a switch right here. And that's going to reveal a BFG up there, which we'll grab in just a couple minutes. But first, let's head through this door. Come back here, Shotgunner. And we'll just make our way around up here. Alright, before we move on too much, 
let's grab the stuff here and you'll hear a little sound and you see a switch there if you jump down towards it you can hit it and open up this area for a secret mega armor all right let's make our way up the top watch out for chain gunners up here And watch out for the specter outside of the door. We'll head outside and we'll jump over across here. And you're met with two switches. The first of which opens up that on a timer. And another one which will lower that lift there. We're going to lower that lift first and ride it up so we can go and grab that BFG over there. And then we'll just quickly make our way back up through here. All right, so we want to hit the elevator, wait a, a second or so, hit that switch, then we'll ride it up and we can jump across. Watch out for the enemies in the closet there, as well as the Kaku demons inside there. Should be all of them. All right, stepping in here is going to open that up permanently, and it's also going to open up here. All right, when we jump across that middle part where the shells are, it's going to lower down. What we want to do is actually stop on that, ride it down, and go through here, hit this switch, ride it back up, and we'll have another secret that is opened up right here. And then we can just head back over, jump all the way across, get ready for a Baron behind you. I took quite a bit of damage there, but that's all right. And then heading over here, we have some Spectres, as well as some Revenants. heal up. Now this spot will open up so we can easily get in and out from here. We should have one more secret. Perfect. Alright, so we have a switch right here and when we hit it, it's going to raise that part up there on a timer, of course. So what we want to do is hit it and quickly run up here and then jump across here. Alright, we have some pretty high damaging floor here so we want to try and zigzag through here as quick as possible and then there's gonna be two arch vials on the right oh all right we're gonna just jump down really quick and I'm gonna see if I can find some health There we go. All right, let's make our way. Head over here, there's gonna be an Arachnatron right here. And then for our last secret of the level, when you hit this lift right here, behind you is gonna open up with three revenants. And we want to actually ride up the lift that the revenants were on for our secret for some rockets right here. All right, so we have another one of these switch kind of puzzles, but this time without the arrows. It's going to be this one right here in the southeast corner. And that's going to be the one behind you. 
the one over here, and finally, again, the one behind you. Get ready for some Mancubus outside. Let's try that again. Didn't mean to fall in there. All right, one more time. There's gonna be quite a bit of Mancubus outside, so I just like to use the BFG a couple times. And then we'll finish them off with the Super Shotgun. We'll grab all the bonuses here. Before we head inside the exit. Going inside is going to close the exit there as well as the way you just came in. Because we have one more enemy to fight. And we'll pull out the BFG. Because of course it's a spider mastermind. We can use those pillars. As cover and take her out really quick. Alright let's grab all the energy cells. Open up the exit. We have all our kills, all our secrets, so just hop in and we are done. Alright guys, so that's quantum processing, 100% kills, 100% secrets. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time.